Okay, so he didn't give me a key for the... I probably don't get that key until I've killed the giant spider, which will be approximately never. I mean... And now, why do people take a look at me and think, Oh, there's a man that would like to do something unbelievably stupid and dangerous. Well, it's gone midnight and they've not moved. All they've done is take some torches out. I suspect these guards are a little more aware than the Riften guards. I, I actually think the Riften guards don't really see much action. I think these guys probably do. Hi. I'm just, uh, just gonna be... Right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So the big question is... I mean, I'm in right, I'm in plain sight here. I'm just totally in plain sight. And it's not that dark here. Oh, this is probably a bad idea. This is... Uh, they're quite far away. That's all I'm hoping now is they're so far away. Doggy! I got a key. I got a key. Though. I got a key. I got a key. That's the... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, let's, let's wait another hour or so. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should try the shop. I, I've got to take about 500 golds worth of uh, stuff. And there might be some stuff in the stables, but I doubt it will come to 500. I really did want to get that statue. Oh, there's no way that's got a back way, so I'm going to have to really... Okay, we've got a sewer here, though. Looks like a bit of a foggy night. That could work to my advantage. Do, 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 do. Just wandering around. Did I just... Are those... Seriously? People just leave silverware lying around? Okay, are you... Uh... I'm just, just out for a night constitutional walk. Wondering why you are just going around in circles. I'm going to bed now. <sighs> Good night. Okay, is this guy lost or... Is he just paid to go in a bloody circle around that door? I, I actually think the latter. I think... I think that's his route. I shall wander in a circle. I suppose I could quickly do it whilst he wasn't looking. I have to be very quick. Oh, God, he's barely... All right. I have a feeling I'm not getting in there. Yes, I do. Let's have a look. Let's watch his... Okay, it's going to depend on how quickly I do this. He's going to turn away right now. Adept, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice! I've got a key now. Okay. Brilliant. Don't move too quickly. Stone floors. Good for muffling your uh, foot sounds, but we want a nice thick carpet. Is that a room over there? It might be. Okay, this is a strong box. Yes, I do. 
I see a book. We're not touching that one. Let's just double check. Let's double check. Um, Ledger is in the stables, and I just need to... 500 from anywhere in Markov. Oh my god, my stomach. Oh my god, my stomach. This looks like a bedroom. This looks like the place someone will come and sleep any second now. Let's take a bit of a snack. And we should probably make it something not crunchy. That, that sounded crunchy enough to me. Okay. So. Oh. Nah. Oh, I wonder if this is because of that ring. Could be, couldn't it? Another room over there. Probably not anything of value. That's what I came for, though. Okay, two people. Do maybe let's get everything sorted first. Yeah, maybe I should do the ledger before. Um, the only thing is, is if I if I get caught fixing for an awful second, I thought there was a person stood there and my brain just. Playing tricks on me. Yes, indeed. Okay. Have I seen a sweet roll yet? I sort of don't feel like I have. Okay. Painting. Thank you. Oh! Oh, the painting is... Speech! Oh, I think I've already read that. Nice. Oh, okay, that's a bit too fast. Oh, no, speech! Speech! There we go! Nice! Okay. Yes. That is what I came for. Yes, it is. What is that? The Code of Malakath. All right. Oh, this is this is the Guide to Orc Strongholds. I'm not seeing that as particularly useful. Steal a fork. Don't need a fork. Pretty sure I don't need a fork. Yeah, they really don't have very much here. I actually have two perks to spend. Yes, I do. So, the big question now is where to spend them. Infiltrator. Sounds good. Sneak attack. Not so useful on this particular uh, mission, seeing as Delvin is going to lose his mind if I kill any... <gasps> cut purse. Cut purse. And, oh, I don't have enough for that. Okay, I've got enough for cut purse. Definitely. Gold, keys, and jewelry. Yes. Definitely. 25% more. This is going to help on some of the... Uh, more expensive items. I I'm reasonably good now with a couple of coins or uh, actually keys. I think I can do most keys now, but for some of the more expensive jewelry, I still need a little help. And then alchemy. It has to be, doesn't it? It has to be because I want bottomless cup. And we're getting close. Yes, we are. Poisoner. Right. So. Poisoner and pickpocket. I'm liking that. Now, it is a little after two. I'm hoping the doggy is uh, 
fast asleep. Oh, yes, I am. Because otherwise, well, that is okay. They've relocked it, but I have a key now. Yes, I do. <laughs> Food at the doggy? Can I throw throw food at the doggy and say, here, doggy, take this. Go eat it. Maybe. <sighs> Fine. Let's wait another hour. Maybe I can maybe I can I didn't I was gonna say talk to the dog. Maybe I can pet the dog. It'll come up. I'll pet it on the head. And I've got food on me. I've, uh, I, I've never actually tried breaking into somebody's house when they've owned a dog. Hi. Do you want some food? I've got some beef. Oh, I didn't mean to actually do that. I meant... Nice doggy, not nice doggy. Who's killing me? Don't kill me. Don't get look, seriously? I gave you beef! What do you mean this should be fun? I'm being chased by a doggy. Oh, hilariously, hilariously funny. You know what? Okay, where's my sword? Where's where's my sword? Where is my sword? Why? Oh, of course I spoke to the damned. Oh my god. God, it, it always does this. God. I don't have my shield either. Okay. Okay, yeah, every time I speak to the blacksmith, I need to. Really? You just saw me running out of a house with a doggy chasing me and said, that'll be fun, and assumed the dog would take care of me. Well, I suppose... I suppose that was probably a fair bet. Is he looking at me? I'm just out picking flower... Badly picking flowers. I'm right in front of a light. Let's pretend to be the caravan man. Does this... Does this mean... Does this mean I can actually go in there now? I'll tell you what, before I do that, oh, that, that, that was... Yeah, it just, unfortunately, resets all of uh, these. Yes, it does. So, right. Okay, well, that was a learning experience, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Oh, I just realized that's been on the floor. <sighs> okay. Well, he didn't wake up. Yeah. I need a plan for taking care of guard dogs. Oh, wait. Is that going to count as a failure? I mean, is... is Delvin gonna go. Probably is, isn't he? He's probably gonna be like, I said no deaths and you killed a dog. And I love dogs. So you're not getting paid. And I'm angry. Is this where I'm gonna find out the books aren't even here? Oh, no, no. Sleeping man. Peace. 
piece of cake. Okay. Nah, moonstone brick. Nice. Okay. Anything else? Let's just check very carefully. Should I push my luck? someone's pull. I sort of feel like I probably shouldn't. The, uh, the danger here is I don't know where to go if I get caught. It's not like I can just run out and run into a sewers and escape. I've actually got to, uh, get back into the city and get in the go. There is probably a sewer way in, but I don't know where it is. Okay. I just realized these guys have got no sweet rolls. Yes, I actually feel some sort of obligation to find a sweet roll for Indigo. Yes, I do. Let's, let's just... Banning has Septims? Nice. Oh, nothing valuable. Can't, uh, check out my new found skill. Okay. Cedron. You really have absolutely nothing of value. Okay. Brilliant. Master pickpocket here and nothing masterful to pocket pick, pick pocket, to take. Nothing valuable to take. Right, let's go back, get a few hours sleep, and then, oh, well that's the question. Do I go straight back to Riften now, or do I swing by Windhelm? I can't help but feel Windhelm is, it's on the way. It is on the way. It's just by the time we get there, even if we went to... Even if we went in the middle of the night, we're going to arrive in the morning and then that's a bad time to be doing jobs. Honestly, I'm, I'm tempted to just go back to Rift and give uh, Maven the good news and report the success I had in Markarth to Delvin and just oh, find out if he knows about the dog. I trust you have good news for me? Yes, I do. The job is finished. Here's the information you requested. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. It's a cool one, though. I've seen that symbol before. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. Iron Sword of Binding. I believe we're done. Interesting. What precisely is the Iron Sword of... Sneaking is twice as effective against the target for 10 seconds. Wait. If I hit somebody with this sword, blinding, iron sword of blinding, that makes sense now. But still, sneaking is twice as effective against the target for 10 seconds. I mean, it blinds him so that he can't detect me after I've hit him with a sword. Am I the only one who sees a small flaw in the thinking there? Let me give you some room. Somebody help. Another fight. What is? Please, someone do something. I'm getting out of here. What it? What the hell? Okay, those are. There's a bloody civil war going on here. Let's perhaps not be in the middle of it. How does that sound? 
Okay, I think it's over. Let's go and be in the middle of it. And see what everybody was... How did the Imperial soldiers get hit? Did they come in through the ratway? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Why is there not an investigation going on? What Balamon. Today? I'm Purchase. here to pick up my items. Huh. Are they ready? Yeah. Good, because you sent me... Right, here we go. So we've got... Oh, the thing is, he's... I'm really torn. Fit that is nice. It's a little better than what I'm wearing, and I do, I do like it. I really do. But I, I've got to say, I kind of want to give it to the new guild craftsman and get him to make it better first. Well, because he's just a better craftsman. What are you doing that for? Doing what? Running over naked bodies? Because you haven't cleared them up. That's your job. Now, I probably need to talk to Brynjolf as well. Although, you know what? First things first, let's just do the whole potion thing. I actually have a lot of invisibility potions. Not a lot. About four to five of them. I should remember that. But what I really do want to make sure I have some of is uh, resist magic. Resist 7%? That's not a lot, is it? That really... I'm not, I'm not really brilliant at making uh, non-poison sort of stuff at the moment. Maybe... Oh, yeah, I suppose if I mix them. All right. Yeah. Oh, what else could we have? Let's... You know, I'm pretty sure about Until half the money time. I've ever made is from selling potions that I've created myself. They don't call me the Ember Master for nothing. What do you need? Well, I need a few things. First of all, I'd like to pick up my items. Uh, they are ready, yes, right? it is. A packed elven dagger, and let's check that out first of all. So, flawless, 18. I gotta tell you, that is a lot of damage, but that is probably going to be better against, uh, well, ghosts and things. So I have a feeling I should... Look at this. That dagger does the same damage as that. That is nice. I do wonder what he could do with, with either of these. I don't think I want to be without a silver weapon, just in case. I'm going to try my best to avoid... Well, basically avoid any place where there will be ghosts, but yeah, I have a horrible feeling that may not always be possible. Thanks. Right. I'll get you the rest of your coin. Um, out of curiosity, I am wondering... I suppose so, yes. I am wondering how much better you could make this armor. So if, if I placed the... Can I do... You know... Weapons and armor at the same time, I think, is what I'm getting at. That's, no, right, it, it is only armor. You've given me the, the, the weapon back. Right. Oh. Oh, right, so you can't improve any of this. You can't improve any of this because it's already been improved to exquisite. It's already been improved, therefore you can't improve it any further. Or is it a case of I need to go to something like a master armorer? I'm not saying they you're not a master armor, but, master you know. Okay, 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 weapon. Of course. Yes, so, you might as well improve this dagger for me, first of all. And, let's have a look. That, it's, that's not, that's not big an, as big an improvement as I was expecting. Wait, I don't, wait a minute, I, I thought you made flawless stuff, isn't it? Weren't you the guy that could make flawless items? Yeah, you made the elven dagger flawless, but you can't make the silver dagger? Oh, is it because it's enchanted, maybe? Let's just... Let's just see what you make of both of those. You can't improve that, and you can only improve that to... All right, I'll tell you what, then. Fine, exquisite will have to do. I'm going to try and find... When it not that... I don't actually need you to do... Th You're not going to take that one away from me, are you? 
I do hope not. I do hope that doesn't end up getting kept in your inventory until I get back. No, there we are. Right. And I should absolutely remember to, uh, <laughs> to make sure everything is selected. It also always unequips my torch bug lantern, but it never removes the torch hotkey, which is odd. Okay, so I've got my torch bug back on. I've got a nice dagger. That does a lot more damage than the silver one. This is obviously going to be for those uh, horrible moments when we're attacked by things of a less than living nature. I now want to talk to the fence. Yes, I do. Oh, is he still giving me attitude? He's still giving me... He... If you're looking for extra work, talk to Vex or Delvin. They'll fix you up. I'm looking for... Oh, no. She stood there talking to me. Right. Stick to the rules and you'll end up rich. Break them and you're out on your arse. Simple, right? Right, right, right. I've struck a deal with Rissad. Yeah, good. I'll contact some of my people and have them prepare some shipments right away. Nice. Good job. Here, let me give you something for all the legwork. Okay. I don't mind taking that off your hand, but this does mean we now have a lot more fences. We've got a few permanent ones. We've got one in Windhelm, one outside Whiterun. Did we have one in Solitude? We might, I don't know. Uh, but we also have the caravans, so that is good news. I give special rates to members of the Thieves Guild. Show me what you've got. How much money have you got? You've got 3,000 gold now, brilliant. Okay, we are going to be making some serious money. Mysticism, the unfathomable voyage. <gasps> I want that. I don't know why I want that. I want that. I've heard of mysticism, and yet for some odd reason, it doesn't seem to be a thing anymore. Ooh. What the hell is that? The Both Dorgy Scroll? Okay, you know what? I'll, I should be able to make it up by selling you a bunch of stuff that I don't actually need anymore. Oh, God, don't, don't sell that. Do not sell that. All of this silverware I've been saving up to sell you, and I really, really can't sell it for very much. I guess that's the price you pay for selling to a fence, but, uh, yeah. Honestly, I think I'm going to stick to stealing beer. It actually looks like a better thing. Silver bully, and that's not too bad, but still, all of this stuff, I've been saving it up until you had the money to buy it, only uh, without realizing that it's just not going to make me a huge amount of money. Okay, that's my entire stash that uh, I'm willing to sell sold to her. There are several items left that I want to keep, the collectibles, for example. I think it's time to see how this looks. I, I, I mean, I'm going to say it. I think I'd prefer sleeves. I do think I'd prefer sleeves. But I love that hood. I do. I love the hood. And the strange thing is, I actually find this looks really kind of cool with that cape. It looks um, roguish and somehow classy. Yes, I'm sort of, I'm liking that. I really am liking that. That also means, what are we doing with this extra set of armor? Do you want it? I can't help but feel. You want to talk? Uh, well, any thoughts? These people are shady. I must admit, I feel quite at home. Yes, me too. Um, right. You give me best equipment. Well, yes. I'm, I'm going to, but honestly, I'm not completely sure you're going to want it. I, I, I may keep... I have got another set of... I've actually got two sets of the boots. I've got a false... I've got one and a half sets of Thieves Guild stuff spare. Um, it does give me plus 15 pickpocket. I should change to them when I want to pickpocket. However, um, I'm going to forget to do that. You know I am. 
Let's give you... Now... See, I don't like the hood. I don't think I like the hood. Let us go. I mean, the other thing looks pretty good, but I, I don't... I'm not a fan of the hood. No, I'm not. I preferred the other one. But I also liked the look of the other one. It, it, it's it's you difficult... Have something to say? It's difficult to describe okay, why, we but I, I, and I think he's just, it has that from somewhere else look about it. Let's, oh, I already gave you gloves and boots, but these ones are better. So, yeah, all right, there you go. Um, let's take the hood away. Then you put the ranger hood back on. Now, the armor is better than this ranger armor. How does it look with the... Okay, let us get back to it. Oh, it doesn't look too bad with that hood. That hood's slightly more, um... Well, actually... It's a bit more... I don't know, it's got a similar vibe to this one, doesn't it? Should we leave you in... I also cannot help but feel you pull off the sleeveless better than I. Okay, we're having some weird flashing. Uh... And not in the good flashing sort of way. That is better. It is better. It's just not necessarily better. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm going to. I'm going to have to think about that. It's. It's more practical. But okay, right. You know what? That's. That's enough fashion show. I have a few things to... If you're looking for extra work, talk to Vex or Delvin. I'm going to turn They'll the light off. I'm, get, I'm getting really weird flashes. Okay, Vex! Out with it. Time is money. Uh, I've completed the heist job. Oh, you're back? I suppose you'll be wanting your pay then. That would be nice. I heard you're offering extra work. Are you... All right, of course, a heist. I handle the burglary, shell, sweep, right. and heist jobs. Yeah. Most of them involve breaking and entering. Do you have another If you don't one? like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up-close and personal jobs. Okay. Tell me about the heist Every jobs. Now and again, I like to remind the shopkeepers that we're... Uh, I've completed the bedlam job. Good job. Now, is your part of the deal. Too nice. I've completed the numbers job. Here's your share. Well done. And I do have some the Honing Brew decanter. Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual... Yeah, 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 of course, this, of course. Be sure to bring them to me. I can't help I but feel I'd be worth the effort. also like to keep them myself. Payment to be more than fair. But I have a feeling it won't let me place them anywhere, which is really annoying. Someone's paying me to steal Maven Blackbriar's horse. Should I tell him that? I've already told Maven, and she said go ahead. Let, let's keep him informed. Who in their right mind would be stupid enough to pay you to steal from Maven? Sibby Blackbriar. Yes, I should have known. Maven and Sibby have been at odds ever since she had him tossed into jail. Look, if I were you, I'd proceed carefully. Crossing Maven is one of the first things you learn not to do when you're down here. As far as the guild's concerned, this is between Sibby and Maven. So we're going to officially stay out of it. All right. So so basically what you're saying is I can actually do that if I want. All right. Fair enough. And any extra jobs? I had all the fishing numbers. Okay, there he is. Brynjolf. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. Yes, it's terrible, but fortunate for Maven. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven uh, sent word that you discovered much saw that something instantly. else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The same symbol from Golden Glow was involved. And this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Yep. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Okay. And what is our next uh, move, then? Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. Okay, fair enough. Go and speak to the big boss, finally. He's always been a little bit, um, 
shall we say, grumpy when I've approached him in the past. Okay, hello. Ah, there you are. I've uh, consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. Right, but I found the same marking at Hodding Brew Meadery. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. Okay, you admire them? I kind of do. Clever or not, they need to die. Maybe we should recruit them. Eh, it's an option, actually, isn't it? You jest, but they've been able to avoid identification for years. They're obviously well-funded, driven, and patient. That's Just why we recruit mistake them. my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dear. Or kill them. I, that's, you know, how can we make them pay? Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a gaja lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gollum I. That name rings a bell. Where do I begin? Golomai is our inside man of solitude. the company in solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there. Shake him down. See what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. Okay. Speak to Brynjolf. Let's do that. Is that the guy that gave us the job with the lighthouse? It might be, or is that a different person? He's probably one. Okay. I know he's a thief and pretty damn stealthy, but you know. Where the hell did he? Okay, where the hell did he? get to? Is that him over there? If you could stop moving around for a while, that would be really convenient. I can't believe Gullamai is mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong. He could scam a beggar out of his last septum. But he's no mastermind. Okay. Think he'll give me trouble? Trouble? <laughs> he's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. So how sh how do I get him to talk? You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullamai, he's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. Okay. Betrayal or not, I'll let him live. Uh, he's going to owe us for this betrayal. If he's betrayed us, I'll kill him. Is that okay? Please tell me that's okay. We do need to send some messages. I mean, it's one thing to recruit an opponent, but this guy betrayed us, right? Besides, you know, he doesn't exactly sound terribly useful. No, no. Oh, Mercer wants him alive. For now. Stubborn or not, he's the only contact we've got at the East Empire Company. Oh, all right, he's useful. He's okay, no, no, no. And he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Okay, well, if he's... I uh, oh. Got a lot of options. Yeah, if he's useful, I see it, I get it, I'm there. Someone's paying me to steal Maven Bri Bri Briar's horse. Let's just tell everyone. Well, lad, I do just as well drawing a blade across my own neck. Where did this foolish request come from? Okay, Sibby Blackbriar. Huh. So Sibby finally got the nerve to bear his teeth, eh? Well, bear mine. Well, this sounds like a family matter, and I don't want the guild in the middle of it. You do what you want. Just don't expect us at your back when Maven has your head on the executioner's block. Maven's in on this, actually, believe it or not. Right. You think Golemai will give me trouble? There are thieves, and then there is Golemai. No honor, no code at all. He'd shake your hand and stab you in the back at the same time. The cut he's supposed to provide the guild has That's dwindled. That's a neat trick, That's actually. He says pickings in the warehouse are slim, but I'm certain he's lying. Ah. Keep your eyes on him. He's quite crafty. Okay. If I get information from Gollum I, what then? Just head right back to the guild and get the information to Mercer. Nothing else is more important. If you discover Gollum I is holding out on us and has more loot stashed away than he claims, we'd find that information quite valuable as well. Okay. And 
l l I, you've already kind of told me, but how is he an asset to the guild? Dolomai works in the East Empire Company warehouse. He helps maintain all of the shipments of goods that goes in and out of solitude. That means he has to pick up the litter from some of the finest goods to grace Skyrim's shores. He isn't exactly in the guild, but he pays us a cut of all the stuff he loves okay. from the warehouse. That is very rude. If you could possibly move so I can continue on with this conversation, I'd appreciate that. Uh, Brynjolf? Good luck in solitude. Keep... What did you need? Uh... East Empire Company, who are they? A mercantile group that has established ports all over Tamriel. They pretty much dominate the shipping industry. I kind of knew this too, but... The Emperor himself supposedly backs them, which means they have fairly unlimited resources. So don't get their feathers in a ruffle. Okay, so... Yeah, right. Good luck in solitude. We got to be... Keep alive, but remind him who we are. Okay, we've got to keep him alive, not annoy the East Empire Company, and find out what the hell is going on. Oh, and whilst we're there, I've got a number of jobs, so steal everything that's not nailed down.